Okay, I got parked in the back lot of the Country Music Hall of Fame. And I'm searching for the front door, which I believe is right here. Yes, it is. Leaving the Hall of Fame now, going on the RCA Studio B tour. Where Elvis recorded mostly other Music Row, which is 16th and 17th Avenues here in Nashville. Have you guys been over there at all yet? Nope. Not yet? All right, well, um, back in 1955 was when the very first recording studio was built over there. And since then, it's grown and grown, and now there are over 500 recording studios in that area. There's over 1,000 in Nashville alone. And that's why we get our nickname, Music City, in case there was any question about that. It's also Elvis Presley's favorite yeah. Nashville studio. Between 1958 and 1971, he recorded more than 250 songs here. That's well over half of his entire catalog of songs. He cut some of his biggest hits here, including Are You Lonesome Tonight? Now and then there's a fool such as I and Little Sister. We are now on 17th Avenue, which is one of the blocks of Music Row. So you'll see um, all these buildings over here are music studios. And is anybody... Come on now. Guitars everywhere. Cool. The glasses though. <laughs> RCA Studio B. Whoa. And then a couple of years ago, they actually did an Elvis duet album where they brought in Carrie yeah. Underwood and Martina McBride and Ian Rice, a bunch of uh, really popular female singers in the country right now. And they sang country songs mm -hmm. and then dubbed their voices over with Elvis yep. to make a duet album, which was um, very, like very neat. Nice. Probably the only time you'll ever hear Carrie Underwood and Elvis sing together. <laughs> Very cool project that they, and they used the studio for that as well. So, song, uh, very fiery. He'd turn all the red lights on and have everybody just really ready to rock out. But if he got a ballad or something more mellow, he would turn the blue lights on and have it very, very dim. Um, and so he was all about setting the mood. And one of the th his uh, favorite parts about Studio B was that it had a, very, a much more intimate vibe than a lot of the other studios in town. Um, he would order hamburgers for everybody if they needed some dinner. And he liked to come in and really talk to the musicians, ask them about their families, see how they were doing, um, introduce himself, and then really get to know them before they started recording. And the way he and the Jordanaires would actually warm up their voices, they would sit at this piano here and sing gospel songs for hours. Um, and so that's how they would actually warm up their voices. And then a couple hours later, midnight or so, they'd start recording. And so most of Elvis's biggest hits came out of this room uh, mm -hmm. around 2 in the morning or so. So uh, pretty interesting. 
And actually, mm -hmm. two of Elvis's three Grammys came out of this room as well. Um, he was nominated for 14 Grammys, but only ever won three. And none of them were for pop music. Do you guys know what his Grammys were for? Gospel. For gospel songs, <laughs> yeah. He recorded How Great Thou Art, and He Touched Me right here. Um, and he... And his third Grammy was for a live version of How Great Thou Art over in Vegas. So, um, even mm -hmm. though you've been to the place where Elvis recorded two of his three Grammys, very cool. Um, and they all came out in the middle of the night, too. <laughs> and one night he was in here, um, and he got a very special song. And for this, he said, okay, everything's got to be perfect. Just turn off the lights. And so they ended up turning off all the lights, and it was just Elvis, um, the Jordanaires, a bass and a guitar. And they recorded, Are You Lonesome Tonight? It's a very intimate recording. Elvis cut nearly the entire song in a single take, oh. with the exception of the last note. He had to redo that because we, the Jordanaires, made a mistake at the very end. So we all did the ending again, and the engineer did a tape splice between the syllables two and night to <laughs> connect the almost perfect take with the redone ending. It worked. Are You Lonesome Tonight became Elvis' 15th number one pop hit and a million selling classic. Are you and if anybody has or has seen the original album cover for this song, it was originally titled Are You Lonesome To Hyphen Night. And so if you've ever wondered why, because that's not how you spell tonight, but that's why it's just kind of an inside joke with the producers, is because they had to do the tape slice right between those syllables. And so they thought it was cute to put it on there. Uh, they did, I think they corrected it later, but if anybody has seen the original album cover. When I kissed you. And the studio actually closed commercially in 1977. Head down that way, let's go meet you off the bus. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay, so and this, you're going to want to get a picture of that with Elvis' hotel, the gray and white building up there. That's oh. Spence Manor Suites. Thank you. That was his hotel. Uh huh. And so they would actually send the decoy down this way so he could sneak back up to his oh. hotel. And sometimes he'd run out the entire building depending on how many people were coming with him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Everybody. This is the door Elvis came in and out of. And again, that was his hotel. I'm back at the Country Music Hall of Fame having lunch after my Studio B tour. Um, I get 10% off with my ticket, which is pretty cool. And I'm glad I toured the museum at 9 o'clock this morning because there's a line and that would have bothered me. This is nice relaxing lunch on my birthday before heading back to Memphis. I got a mozzarella BLT without the B and a sweet tea. And there is some music playing. Very perfect. Fortify myself for the three hour drive home. Happy birthday! I really had a wonderful time at the Country Music Hall of Fame, especially the tour of Studio B. And a really good lunch at that 222 grill. It was fried food. Fried green tomato and mozzarella BLT. So they said across the street is like the walk of fame for country music, kind of like in Hollywood for the stars. So I'm gonna check that out real quick before I head back to Memphis. was the country, not really country music walk of fame, but just music walk of fame. All right, I've really enjoyed my birthday weekend here in Nashville. It has been a great time, a great way to celebrate. And now I'm gonna head back home to Memphis and pick up my babies.